Hi all, not done a video on here for a while, so I uh, thought I would uh, get one out. This is this is some thoughts on post-season and pre-season, so the period we're in now till Christmas really for most people, being a bit generic with that, but uh, that's generally when it happens, end of season through to, um, through to the new year. So like the first thing I sort of say to most people, and people aren't good at this, um, uh, something I'm always very good at is end the season, you know, whenever that is, and the harder the season you had, the longer this would be, you take between seven and 21 days away from being an athlete. It's part of the process. Um, I even think sometimes some coaches don't want to hand that out because it's not seen as uh, the right thing to do to a, a, you know, a paying athlete, but actually... For most people, it's the best thing you can do for them is say, see you in two weeks. I want you to just forget triathlon for however long. So people that are training moderate amounts, seven days, 10 days, those that have had like multiple Ironman races or something, maybe up to three weeks or something, proper reju rejuvenation, if you like. So and then from there, you know, the key thing is that we don't just disappear into it's winter, put a few pounds on and lose all the gains we've made. It's about... Um, uh moving forward uh but making sure we get the load right and the timing right so um first things first you do have to lower the load the, the those that train a lot more bring this down further those who maybe train less than 10 hours a week you might just knock the load back for a different reason those training high amounts they need like physical recovery uh, soft tissue recovery hormonal recovery and then all athletes, no matter how much you train, I think we're all limited in the amount we train by how busy life is. Um, and we're all pushing the limits of that all the time. You know, I know what it's like speaking to my guys. I know it's like in my life, you're just jumping from one thing to another. This is mentally really draining. I think you have to lower the load just enough that we have some spare time in life through this period. Uh, you know, go to the cinema, go out for a meal, um, you know, just, just enjoy other aspects of life, catch up with those people who you're not involved with in sport. To me, it's it's a really important time of year. And give back to those, um, you know, those that support you throughout the whole year. Um, then I think you've got to have the mindset of what we're doing in this period. This is a preparatory period. The better you prepare yourself in these three months for the hard work ahead, the better that's going to go. Uh, and I use the old example of a pyramid. If your base of the pyramid is this big, i.e. how well you prepare, the top of the pyramid is here. If your base is this big, the top of the pyramid's up here somewhere. And this base can be made up of different components, strength and conditioning, mobility, downtime helps, you know, how healthy your body is, uh, aerobic base. It all adds up to, to preparing for what's ahead. And for that reason, you know, you've got to think long long term it's not just like oh i'm ready to get back into training get me that new ftp now by christmas i want to be doing x y and z you get a much bigger gain if you prepare better right now um heading uh heading into the new year and thinking about where you want to be come race season uh technical development this is definitely something we do a lot of now swim drill swim tech talk to your coach get in the flume um Get a bike fit, you know, that is technical development. Um, uh, run drills, strength and conditioning, mobility, all these things really add up. Um, make, you know, we do a lot of work with the coaches. That we had a big meeting this week about this and how to identify with every athlete the bits they need and how we provide that as a group and a wider community. Um, point number four would be like, like, find some time for fun. So, you know, a lot of my athletes, they get, a bit of structure in the week, technical development, strength and conditioning, etc. Some preparatory run stuff. The weekend, go ride your bike, go mountain biking, gravel bike, run off road. It's simple. It's soul filling. It's it's just what you want to do. That's you know aerobic training. It's as simple as that. And I think you find that time of year. And beyond that, you know, look for some challenges rather than you know. Have you ever ridden 200 miles in a weekend? Have you ever done that in the winter? You know, maybe do that. You know, what's the longest swim you've ever done? You know, you once a month, you could pick something like that rather than having to always be like, oh, what half marathon's coming up and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, I think we generally feel, you know, keep any racing you do fairly short, sub 40 minutes and maybe once a month at most. Um, 
And the last one is strength and conditioning. Can't um, exaggerate this enough. There's loads of different reasons why you do it. And for different people, it's different. But you're about, uh, you know, this is about like um, a great time of year to to learn to move more functionally within our sport. And that takes mobility. It takes strength. It takes control. It takes coordination. And all of these things are being covered off in S and C. So what I'm probably going to say to round this out is like your key sessions, which are normally horrible looking turbos and hard runs and big swims now become technical swims, strength and conditioning and fun aerobic stuff. You know, that's how I see the next couple of months. Um, and, and I see it as a really important role for, for us guys to get this across to you uh, and make sure that you're in a aerobically very fit place a mentally very good place and um you know strength and conditioning uh and that technical aspect is all in a really good place come christmas so you're ready to start the harder work in january um you know it's it's a relatively basic time of year but what we what i would rather see people do is get some videos of your swimming get some videos of you doing run drills let's actually have a look at how you move mobility wise you know we've actually got some stuff in place at hq that that will allow you to come and do this with some of the coaches uh that'll that'll come out pretty soon um so yeah uh hope that makes sense and sort of frames off season for people you know it's not a time to disappear and do nothing it's actually a time to move really move forward but it's forward in foundational ways so uh enjoy your sunday evening and uh speak soon